Hi everyone, it's Eva Pietrzak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'd love to talk to you about a couple of things. Purpose, vision and goals. So many people come to me struggling to decide what they truly want to be doing in life. And my biggest passions are helping people earn money, doing what they love, earn substantial income to be to become free from financial concerns, whatever level of income that means, but actually doing something with passion, doing what they truly want to be doing. The second of my passions is to help people with confidence because I truly believe that those two relate. You cannot have a truly beautiful, fulfilling life without substantial level of confidence. And so many people come to me struggling with choosing the path in life. What do I truly want to be doing? And so I was on the plane flying to Poland a couple of days ago and uh, I was uh, listening to an audiobook by Bob Proctor, It's Not About the Money, and he has a chapter in that book called Purpose, Vision and Goals. And I really love this chapter because he talks about how do we choose our purpose? You know, for many ta- for many years I went into jobs that were not fulfilling and I studied what I thought is good for me to study because when I was a child I was told the best way to study is to go into IT, finance, law, languages or um, anything related, medicine, yes. So uh, these are the best directions in life that will provide you with income and they will provide you with good living. But the truth is I went into uh, English and I went into finance and it didn't fulfill me. There was that voice inside of me telling me this is not exactly what I want to be doing. So I requalified and pretty much I became a coach at the age of 30 and it was total shift in my life. But I knew it was it's worth it. I knew if I ever want to be very good at what I do and earn substantial income with what I do, I need to be doing what I want to be doing. See, if you really look at wealthy and successful people, those people don't go to work to earn money. They go to work for passion, for satisfaction, because they love what they do. And so here's how you decide what you do. Ask yourself, first of all, where are your natural skills and talents? What are you good at? What would you be doing even if nobody paid you for it? What are those things that you love doing every day or maybe several times a week? Because those things, I know you might not think this way, but those things can be monetized. And imagine, it's so much better. One of the things that so many people want outside... um, around the world is to get up in the morning and do what you want to be doing all day. Because when you do what you want to be doing, then it doesn't feel like work. And if you learn how to produce money with it, well then fantastic. Now I know most of you maybe heard that if you're artistic, you can't make money with it. If you, uh, you know, if you're a fitness person, you can't make money with it. But trust me, in current days, whether this is an online business or an offline business, there are ways for you to monetize pretty much every single passion you have. So you've got to stop thinking in terms of what can produce money. Start thinking in terms of what you love doing, regardless. And then find the right mentor, find a coach. If you want to talk to me, talk to me, who can direct you to how to monetize that passion. Because you can live with passion and you can do what you love and you can monetize it. Trust me, I've been doing this for past two years and I just love every day of it. And that's why I'm getting better and better. It's natural. When I was in finance, I figured that there's no chance for me to get to the top of the career ladder because I don't love doing what I'm doing. But in this, if I love helping people see who they truly are and how to achieve their goals, I will become very, very successful at this. In fact, I'm already very successful and growing because I love doing what I do. So have a look in terms of what are your natural skills and talents, what do you love doing, and then ask yourself, how can I monetize it? And if you struggle with that, reach out to me or another coach or mentor that can guide you to monetizing it. So that's your purpose. Purpose is doing what you love doing, and then obviously, where are you going with this? It's like reaching the top of the mountain. Then you need a vision. So you need strategy. How am I going to get there? And with that strategy... You know, you might need some help. You might need some like-minded people to brainstorm with. You might need a coach. You might need a mentor. And then you need goals. And goals are daily chunks, daily activities. It's action plan that you need to be taking in order to move you towards fulfilling your vision and fulfilling your purpose. And trust me, if it's aligned with your heart, if it's aligning with what you truly love doing, you will get very good at it. And you will fulfill your dreams. And you can earn tons and tons of money. Because 
really successful people have multiple streams of income. They don't go to work uh, to work to get paid. They go to work for satisfaction. If you look at Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, those guys don't go to work because they have to. They go to work because they want to. Bob Proctor is the same. I'm the same and you can be the same. So I hope that gave you some food for thought. If you want to check out It's Not About the Money, uh, it's a beautiful audiobook or you can buy it as a book by Bob Proctor and it's uh, one of the chapters, Purpose, Vision and Goals. If you would like to explore how to make your passion monetized and how to fulfill your goals, you can ask me, feel free to ask me for a free consultation and we can have a chat. So I hope that gave you some food for thought and have a fantastic day. Know that whatever you want and whatever is at the screen of your mind, you can have it. Thank you so much and take care.